Thursday I have just been packing orders and I need to put labels on these and then I'm gonna go off to the post box um, it was raining earlier but I think it's stopped now but yeah it's been a little bit kind of gloomy for the last couple of days but I don't really mind that and yeah um, the only, I just don't want the parcels yet soggy so yeah I think it stopped raining so I should be okay to go to the post office I've also been trying to kind of get myself organized and if you watched the last studio vlog um, I was talking about how I had a couple of days where I was feeling a little bit sort of distracted and then I was watching another studio vlog by Natalie Burton um, she's lovely I will leave her vlogs like in the description box so you can go and check her out um, she mentions that she's done a class by Lisa I think you pronounce it Lisa Condon is it Condon is that how you say her name um, you'll probably know who I mean. But yeah, so Lisa Condon had done a class that was all about like time management for artists and it was on a deal as well. So I've I've taken that up. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish packaging these up, go to the post box and yeah, then I'll talk more about all the kind of organisation stuff that I'm trying to learn, which yeah, it doesn't come naturally really to me, but we will try and get there together. But yeah, let's finish off these parcels. So I'm back from the post box, <laughs> from the post box, <laughs> I was going to say from the post office but I walked to the post box but then that sounded like I was inside a post box or something, I think you know what I mean, I walked down to the post box and I'm back and yeah I have been having a look at sort of creating my own like workflow thing so yeah I think I'm gonna enjoy using the system but at the same time like I love organisation stuff but I don't feel that I'm kind of naturally organised but I find all of this stuff like really interesting I think because I just kind of like really want to be that organised person by next week I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it and hopefully I'm still keeping up with it and I haven't like abandoned it entirely. Organising yourself just kind of takes loads of time and I'm like yeah doing this all to improve my time management and then I don't know like planning always takes ages doesn't it and you sort of think am I wasting time by planning like I think in the long run I think this is going to be a good idea but yeah sometimes you think am I just wasting lots of time I don't know <laughs> so currently in my current project some of the things that I'm doing is I've got the Mother Seagull and the Ocean King children's book that I'm working on which I've been a bit naughty and I haven't done anything with that for a while. I'm doing the illustrations for somebody that I know um, and I have explained to them that I haven't had much time because I've sort of been doing it like around other projects but with this new like organisation thing I'm gonna try and put some more time into like setting aside time to actually do that thing and maybe I'll do like an update once I've done like a whole batch of illustrations I might show you like a little sneak peek of how it's going. Other things I need to do the finish the Berry Girl stickers that I started in the last video and then the other thing that I need to do is my blueberry illustration. I need to actually edit that. I've scanned it in and I've started like stitching it together so I think that is what I'm actually going to do now. I've been, <laughs> I've been putting off editing it because I think it's going to take a really long time to edit. We know that how much I love <laughs> editing images. This has been a very chatty section. Yeah I've started editing the blueberry illustrations so I will swivel you around and quickly show you what I've been doing. This isn't really going to be pink I'm just cutting the areas out. Um, also I had a lot of people give me some tips on like how to get rid of the white. Somebody did suggest using like the select colour range but even if I do the select colour range and like I've tried moving this sort of forwards and backwards and there seems kind of good it looks all right at a glance but then you still zoom in I still have all these little specks 
But yeah, so I think the way I'm going to do it is using the magnetic lasso tool and cut around there like that. Oops, missed a bit there. And yeah, I'll just go back around. Okay, so I think for the rest of today, I'm just going to kind of dedicate this time to finishing the blueberry illustration because I just really want to get it done. And I'm probably just going to listen to some YouTube just to keep me company. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll maybe do like a little bit of a screen recording so you can sort of see how I'm working on it. Oh, uh, it is Friday now. I wasn't actually going to film today because I'm just literally carrying on with editing the blueberry illustration. Yeah, the reason why I turned the camera on is because I received this package just now and I started opening it and I was thinking, I can't remember if I've ordered anything. Like, I don't think I've ordered anything. And then I think I know what this is. Um, so I thought I should probably turn the camera on. But yes, as you can see, I didn't get very far. <laughs> These look like the same boxes that um, that I've just ordered as well. Shall I take this off? I've been listening to Noughts and Crosses, um, the first book. I think there's quite a few in the series, isn't there? really exciting oh so Laura who she runs a shop called Little Green Stitches which is here these are all her things so yeah she's got an Instagram and an Etsy shop so she contacted me I think I'll read that separately um, she contacted me and asked me if she could make um, an embroidery, because she does embroidery, of tulip cats. So yeah, she said that she really fell in love with tulip cats and she was inspired to do an embroidery. But she wanted, first of all, just to check with me that it would be okay, because obviously, um, you know, she didn't want to just take my design. Um, but yeah, she said, could she make something? Um, and then she wanted to send it to me as well. <laughs> so I have seen a picture of this on her Instagram, but I haven't seen it in person. I'm very excited. I love the green tissue paper. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, I like. I like the green on the back. Oh, and it comes with a hook so I can like hang it up somewhere. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. I will leave Laura's Etsy shop in the description. Um, so yeah, you can go and check out her work. Um, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> And whilst I've got the camera on, I've been saving this to open. So this is from Julia and I bought this from her Etsy shop. So again, I will leave Julia's Etsy shop in the description. Oh, they're really cute. Yeah, these are so pretty. Oh my goodness, isn't this the cutest, tiniest little sticker ever? Put it in my notebook. Um, but yeah, also Alison a while ago sent me these beautiful stickers and she does like loads of watercolour paintings and um, I shared it on my Instagram but I don't think I ever actually shared it on the blog so I thought that I would, uh, yeah, show these. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd have a little kind of unboxing happy mail section. But yeah, I think I'm going to read my little note. Um, oh, it's on lovely paper. So I'm gonna read my letter from Laura and then I'm gonna finish listening to, I'm about kind of halfway, yeah, I'm exactly halfway through at the moment. I'm gonna finish listening to Noughts and Crosses. Good morning, it is Saturday. I'm trying to angle my body so that I can cover up all the mess in the background. I don't know if that's actually working. I just wanted to pop on and say good morning. I am gonna try and go for a run with Tom. And, but yeah, I've been so bad at running recently. I don't think I've been for a run in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna watch this 
later because obviously in a few days I'll have to edit this. So Emma, go for another run. <laughs> um, yeah, my exercise recently has just been terrible. I've just, I've been like waking up and kind of not sort of feeling like, oh, I don't really want to do this now. And I, a while ago I got into a, a good habit of doing exercise in the morning, which was good because then I'd like got it done. I found Tom. I'm just going to bleep your mouth. When Tom doesn't want to be filmed, he says lots of rude words. Do it silly rude words. Stop it. We're going for a run. Let's go. You got your two watering cans again. Oh my goodness, he's a giant. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Look at this enormous kale. There's just two now, but a second ago there were three bees on this allium. Oh, they're so tiny. Have you picked the blueberries on that one? I have. have I have picked yeah. them already, it's just got more. These are the big ones, aren't they? They're like... I think this is a Spartan. <laughs> Spartan. Wow, the bees are absolutely loving these. Oh, there's a good one there. You missed one. For you, I think. Oh, it's not. Oh, it looks like a dark colour. No, but it is a good colour. Oh, is it? There's a spot of green. Okay. That one was good, but a little tart. I like a bit of tart. <laughs> you like a bit of tart. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some more mail to open this is from the cat sticker club and I designed some like exclusive cat stickers for them and they've sent me some so I'm gonna open it up oh I've got quite a few <laughs> oh I think they look nice so basically Cat Sticker Club, they do a subscription box so you can like sign up and get cat stickers, I think it's every month. Um, and then you can also like go onto their website and buy the cat stickers like individually. Um, you might sort of recognise the design of it because this is basically the drawing that I did first of all before I decided to make these like enamel pins. Yeah, as you can see, Daisy Cat started off as being green and I decided to make it rose gold for the pin. But yeah, and then Tulip Cat. So these stickers, if you want them, they're only going to be available from Cat Sticker Club. So I will leave the link in the description. Where shall I put it? Oh, I might put it on my sketchbook. I feel like nice thick stickers as well. So it's Wednesday now and I have just been working on this illustration which is for a book project that I'm working on which I have mentioned before in the past. So this is a very, this is actually going to be two pages. It's going to be that's going to be like the first page and then that's going to be the last page but they're very kind of similar so I thought I'd do them at the same time. Yeah I haven't filmed anything for a couple of days. Um, Monday I was just packing orders and then I ended up taking some of Monday off and Tuesday I didn't really do anything kind of like film worthy. I was just doing like little bits and bobs here and there. I've decided to make Wednesday my day for working on this book because it's kind of like a personal project and so because of that it's something that I could keep like putting off but yeah I have made a couple of other videos which I will link to if you want to see I did like one where I sort of like design of the characters so this is one of the main characters who is a seagull um, and the book is called Mother Seagull and the Ocean King and it's kind of got like a sort of fairy tale or like a kind of folk tale vibe to it which I like. Yeah it kind of revolves around the mother seagull who's like trying to protect her eggs and they get stolen by the evil Ocean King. So that is what I'm going to be working on at the moment. Um, this is very nearly finished. I need to do a little bit more to it. 
Oh my god, I've got so many <laughs> different. Where's the. So many different plugs and things, right? Yeah, I've just got. I wanted to add like a couple of stones and things, so I think I'm just gonna add that. See if there's any more shading or anything to do, and then I think I'm done. Thursday. I have just been for a run. I'm wearing my 250 Parkrun t-shirt um, which I got from doing 250 runs. Yeah I really miss Parkrun actually. It's just a lot easier to go for a run when like you kind of had the social aspect as well and it just kind of became a habit because we did it like every Saturday at nine o'clock. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're going to be opening anytime soon. When we did go, there was a lot of people there. So obviously it's a bit hard to kind of keep your distance for that. I'm red and sweaty. <laughs> so I'm going to go have a shower, charge this battery, um, pack some orders and hopefully do those berry stickers that I actually started last week. So yeah, hopefully I'll get to finish that today. the post box I have an enormous lovely cup of tea but yeah I'm actually going to finish the berry gals and well they're kind of finished I just need to like arrange them into like a nice sticker sheet maybe I'll add some like small little berries or something we'll see, kind of see how much space there is so I've moved these about a little bit and I've added some text but it's looking a little bit plain so I want to add some more things. This border isn't actually going to print, that's just to kind of remind me not to put anything important like right close to the edge. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like roughly draw out the cut lines and then see what space is like left and then I can see if I can like add something to make it kind of pretty. There's a space, it's getting a star. Here is what I'm working on. And basically I kind of wanted to surround the berry girls with like a nice background that had loads and loads of berries. But this is just gonna be like the background. I don't think I'd have space to make them into stickers as well. And I think I'm actually just gonna stick with green lines because I think that looks quite nice. But I'm gonna like obviously neaten this up a little bit. And actually the stars will probably be gold and silver. It's kind of hard to um, to get everything to fit together. I'm gonna have to like shrink some things because obviously I need to make sure that there's enough space next to the um, cut lines. Yeah, these gizbries do not fit. Where am I gonna put you? Well, I just... I could just shrink it down a lot, maybe. Oh, it's drawn with my hand. Not the pen, that was annoying. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> For goodness sake, right. Let's try not to touch the screen with my hand. I'm sure I'd turn the thing off so that I can't draw with it, but maybe for the selection it's, I don't know still doesn't really fit unless I kind of move everything down a bit. Yeah, how can I find a way of like adding lots of detail but not overly complicating it? I don't know if there is actually a way of doing that. I'm really, this bit is working nicely together. I like the butterfly, I like the blueberry flowers, like I feel like that is going together quite nicely. This section up the top, I'm not so sure about. I like the ladybird.
actually finished. So let me show you what I have come up with. So here's the final result. And again, I will just put this on the screen, but I think it's yeah come out really well and I'm really looking forward to getting these made so yeah I'm gonna send these off to my manufacturer now and if you want to see like how they turn out then subscribe and hit the notification bell because I imagine I'll be unboxing these in a future vlog and I hope you're all having a wonderful week I'm sending you lots of love and I will see you in the next video okay bye oops <laughs> friend is like on a wonk Never mind. Bye. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.